Hey guys, this is your friend Mainar from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on driver structures. So in this video, we'll show you how to create the connection between a column and a rafter in the driver structures software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the previous video, we have created a base plate. We can copy this base plate. So let's go to the bottom level or the level one. We can uh, select this particular base plate. It is visible here. So we can uh, use the option of your uh, copy. So we can make sure that this option of select multiple is uh, turned on and then we can copy this next here and then next here. So after copying this, let's click on escape and see it in a 3D view. So this has been done. We'll go to level one and let's select this four base plates. You can go to this option and make sure only the plates option is turned on. That is the four plates. We don't want the columns part. So now I'll we'll click on OK and we'll click on this option of mirror. We'll pick this axis. So after this is done, we'll go and check in our 3D view. So as you can see, the base plates have been applied to below all the columns. Now we'll select a connection for this rafter and column joint. So now we are going to create the connection between our column and our rafter. So for that, we'll select this and then control and then select this. So after having selected the two items, we can go to structure and then we have the option of connection. So before going to the connections, make sure uh, pressing this option that you select like you can select all and you can add all to this side and click on OK. So you can select this and select this and uh, go to structure. And after that, you can go to connections. And after going to connections, you can select this. So you can search here. Yeah, we can do this knee of frame web with plate haunch and end plate. We can use this option. And after we do this, uh, if it's not visible properly, you can change it to course and then change it back to fine. Then the graphics properties should be visible properly. So as you can see the particular connection plate and bolts. So if you want to edit this, you can also do that. You simply select that. And after selecting that Neo frame at web with plate haunch and end plate, you can go to edit type. And after that, you can change this properties. So let's click on edit. And if you want, we can change the haunch length, this one. And we can also change the height and the thickness as well. So we're going to keep it same. You can also change the flange width, flange thickness. You can also change the particular uh, welds. So these changes you can do as per preference. After you do any changes, you can click on OK. And after that, you can click on Apply. You can close this. So now we want to copy this connection to other parts. So we'll select this here and after that we'll go to a level three. So as you can see, this is selected. So we can simply go to our option of copy and we can copy this from here to all the column centers. So after having done that, we can click on escape and we can select all the connections. After selecting all the connections, we can simply use the option of mirror. Pick this axis and the connections will be mirrored. And after that, we can check it in our 3D view. So in the 3D view, we can check that all the connections have been done. So friends, that's all for today's video. In this video, we have shown you how to create the connection between column and the rafter in the haunch part in a truss. So stay tuned to our channel for more such videos. Bye bye.